Hey, I'm Jill. I'm so excited today to show you my tiny house design because I made a whole model of my tiny house. Here, take a look. Here is my tiny house. It is made uh, two scale, one inch per foot. Look in there, there's my kitchen up there. And here's where you, the door and uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour. There's no windows on the side, but windows can be added later. I just put in only a few of the windows that I thought were completely uh, architectural and necessary. So, I'm going to first explain to you what is unique about my tiny house and the problems that I solved. Okay, so the main reason that I, I designed a tiny house to begin with, it's not like I'm going to live in one. <laughs> But I love designing things, and um, I felt like there was a problem with a lot of tiny houses, and that is like lofts. Um, lofts are really cool, and they look really neat. Um, you know, like, oh, you know, you're like a kid again, and you're climbing up in a treehouse. But um, you have to climb up like seven feet, and usually a, like a ladder or a teeny tiny staircase, and um, it's not very safe. Then you have to like figure out a way to like not, you know, rail, put a railing or whatever. Um, so the height of having to climb into lofts is an issue. And then the other issue is once you get up there, people like have their clothes up there and try and dress up there. Um, they store all their clothes around their bed. Um, that is a problem because who wants to like try and get dressed when they're like not standing up it's just really awkward so um i thought that i could solve that by putting the loft bedroom on the bottom and the other rooms on the top and um this actually was a great um change for uh of design because uh, it really allowed for the top rooms to shine for the kitchen to be have a lot of light um, and not be stuck underneath a loft. Um, so I want to show you my tiny house. I'm going to explain it as I go. Okay, here's the tiny house and with the roof off you can see the layout is kitchen on one side, the stairway is in the middle, and the bathroom is on the other side. Pretty large bathroom for a tiny house, but what happened was the extra space from uh, we have a bedroom, but we didn't use a bunch of space to store clothes and side things in the bath in the in the bedroom. So what we did was put a closet. I put a closet in the bedroom in the bathroom. Here's a shower. Here's where the toilet would be. Here's a sink, little shelf, and then there's where you could have a combo washer dryer. So pretty much everything that you need and enough room to get dressed. So pretty much you store all your clothes here. You don't ever have to like get dressed in your bedroom. So that's really cool. Okay, so then when you wanna leave the bathroom, you would go down the stairway and either go in the, in the rooms down there or back up into this kitchen. So the kitchen has a little bump out. So the whole entire Thing is 24 feet long it would be built on a 24 foot trailer um, this kitchen is very large for a tiny house it has a fridge uh, you know a stove and an oven some counter space there and a shelf another shelf over here with your um, uh, <laughs> sink there you go and even a dish place for a dishwasher you could probably even put a microwave up here if you wanted a microwave, which you probably do. The cool thing about how I designed this table, um, I designed it with, um, like, if you can see, seating all the way around. So I kind of figured if you figured out a way to slide the table, you could go, you know, slide it back, get in, scoot back there, slide it back out, and eat. You can also slide it out, like, during the time when you're cooking to use it for more um, space for cooking. So uh, that's the kitchen. I'm really excited about that. It's got a huge picture window with tons of light coming through. All right, so here that is again. I'll get different angles. And then you go down the stairwell. 
okay? So here's the front door, and it goes right into this pretty interesting stairway. There's some space underneath for storing things, which is something you always kind of need. And it's just interesting angles. Um, now, below is the, I guess, quote unquote loft. It is a smaller space. Oh, I, I should say that the top floor at the ceiling height would be seven feet. Okay, so down here it would be like five. But you're pretty much walking through here. This is where you walk. And in the bathroom, this is where you walk. So the seven foot is fine. Actually higher than most kitchens and baths in tiny, ho tiny houses. All right, so this, the floor below it is only a four foot ceiling. And so what I've designed here is just a simple bedroom. This is big enough for a king mattress, okay? I just stuck that in there so you kind of picture that. That's all that you would have in there. Maybe tiny little shelves for your alarm clock and iPhone and charging and stuff like that. But you don't need anything else in there. You don't need to change or anything like that. You just go down there to sleep. Out here is just a storage area to come in from the back. So you would have a door out here. You would also probably put a little trap door thing back here so that you could slide your mattress in because this is not going to be enough room to get any big mattress in. So that will be a trick that on that side. Now over here, this is the living area. So you don't really need to stand up in your TV like lounging area because hello, you're, you're just, you want to lounge. So crawl in here and here, I just put this in because this is the size of a twin size mattress. So you can either just put like all kinds of pillows and um, foam things or whatever to just lounge or you could actually put a twin size mattress in here so that if you did have guests, they could actually sleep in here. So that fits over here and then you could put some bean bags or stuff over there. And then my thought was, you know, you would have, you would put uh, your TV on the wall there. Okay, so the bottom floor is about six feet, eight inches interior wide. That fits in between the wheels of your of the trailer okay now if you'll see this bump out up here it's not the same it don't have a bump out here this is where the hitch would be so the hitch would be above the kitchen okay and then this would be six foot eight and then this is wider and the reason is because we don't have to go around the wheels so this is about a foot wider not quite but like i think it's like seven foot seven i got these measurements from the tumbleweed tiny house blog um they actually make or sell like trailers and those are they, they make a special trailer where you can go eight and a half foot wide completely your interior would be seven 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 i think um but i don't my my dad hope i think my dad's gonna build this he might um and the trailer he has is not like custom made for that. So I wanted to make it to where he could fit the bottom on his trailer and then he could bump out the top. So it's bumped out all the way down, not on the end because it's 24 feet exactly. And then this is a bump out of a, a foot and a half. So that's a uh, 25 and a half right there. Okay, so this is bumped out. And so that then you get from exterior to exterior, the max of eight and a half foot wide for your tiny house. Um, again, I didn't put any windows in except for these couple architecturally looking windows. I definitely think that you could put in skylights up here, um, you know, windows up here. You don't really want windows in your bathroom anyway. You don't really want, who wants windows in their bedroom really? I mean, darkening, maybe you do. And, and who and it, we really want it dark in our family room too because we're watching TV. So I think that's really just a choice for anybody who might build this uh, to whether they want more windows. Uh, but hope you like my tiny house. I want to just uh, leave you with a screenshot of the floor plan. 
so that you can zoom in and check it out if you want. It's just a little bit more specific. The tiny house, again, is 24 feet long. So thanks a lot for watching.